Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to fix the wallet and stuck or looted screen and how we can fix this app. So let me directly get into the step one by one. So the first one, we need to run the wallet as an administrator. So just go over here to the desktop, select the application over here you can see, right click on this one, go to share more options, go to the properties, go over here in the compatibility and make sure that you put a check on both these boxes that disable full screen optimization and also you put a check on this box, run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for okay and once it is done we just need to move to the next one next one we need to update the graphics card so to update the graphics card just go over to the start right click and directly navigate to the device manager and right now what we need to do is just go over the display adapters and right click on the graphics card which is already there so in my case as you can see it is nvidia geoforce it is 1650 super right click on this one go for update driver go for browse my computer and select this one and from here you need to select which one is yours and go for the next once it is done, most probably you can check back with the game whether the Valorant is not working or not. If we are having issue with the same, then we need to move to the next step. Next step is all about we just need to go over here, search for the one command like this, or we have to press Windows and our key together. So that will take you to the percentage local data percentage and you have to press enter and right now what we need to do is we just need to keep scrolling down and directly navigate to the valorant and right now from here what we need to do is you have to check whether you find any folders sorry you have to get into the app data and go for the locker right now we need to scroll down and what we need to do is we have to check for the valorant folder here so right now you can see the valorant and you have to get into the folder named saved and over here as you can see you might be having anything for the for this but there is nothing you have to do just right click over here and quickly go for the trash icon and also you need to find the right games if you find the right game right click over here and directly go for the trash icon and once both these things are deleted you have to close this back and you have to go back to the right line and try launch the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to go over here what we need to do is this one didn't just what we need just to go over here in the file explorer and quickly go to this pc which lock this c and go for the right games and from here you have to get into the right line over here and if you find anything go over here right click not this one just need to go back over here once again get into the program files over here and now we need to scroll down and whether you have to check whether you are able to find the valorant if you're not able to find the valorant over here fine with it you can just go back get into the program files keep scrolling down and check whether you are able to find the valorant as well so still, if you're not able to find the Valorant, just close this up, just go over here on the Valorant, right click over here and go for open file location. And right now, this is where it is. So most probably, if you find any folder named over here named live, you have to delete the respective folder. And keep in mind, this is not very necessary, but even you can skip this step as well. Next up is all about what we need to do is we just need to go over here, search for the run command once again, and you have to press enter. Now, instead of fighting the personage local app data, what we need to do is ncpa.cpl that's what we have to type dot cpl and you have to press enter and right now that will take you to this and right now you can see this is my wi-fi right click over here and go to the properties and from here you have to sell internet protocol version 4 right click on this one and you have to go over here and click on the properties and now we need to give the dns so right now the preferred dns should be selected and the alternate dns server should be selected and right now what we need to do is we can see 8, 8, 8, 8, 8 and 4 and we have to type 8, 8 over here you have to type 8, 4 and you have to type 4 and once both these things are done you just need to go for it okay and once afterwards you just need to go back and check with the right line or you have to try engine the valve and most probably that's going to help you guys out. That's it. Bye.